Hi everyone, today I will show you how to crochet tote bags. If you are a crochet beginner, this tutorial is made for you. I only use single crochet for this pattern, so I can I make it more simple, right? And you can choose any type of yarn that you are comfortable with. You don't have to, you know, if you don't want to crochet this type of yarn, you don't have to do it. If you don't want to crochet fuzzy yarn like that, you don't have to do it because I will give you every dimension that you need to make it happen with whatever yarn that you have. So I just want to show you the different ones that I made. I will give you the list of supplies right after, but you see I, I did a pink one with shiny yarn, a all white one like that with a little pocket. I show you the inside. It's very spacious and this one is my favorite. It's bicolor as you can see. And inside I put a bag organizer because I actually use it every day. So this one my favorite. I will give you the supplies right after. So in the tutorial, I will show you step by step, rows after rows. But if you prefer a written version of the pattern, you can get it on my Etsy shop. It's a PDF file that you can print and see you, you have pictures, you have every, every single detail. So you can find it on my Etsy shop. Thank you so much if you decide to support, it really helps. And I can really keep making video thanks to you. Now let me tell you the supplies you will need for each bag. The links to purchase the following supplies are in the description. Just so you know, some of them are affiliate links. That means I make a small commission if you purchase from these links, but it doesn't change anything for you. The price is the same, so you don't have to worry about it. Also, if you live in Europe, I listed some similar yarn and the link is in the description if you want to check it out. For all three bags that I made, I used a hook 12 millimeter. And if you want to make bag number one, so the one in white, all white, I used three skeins of Berna Shippy color cotton tail and four skeins color cream from Premier, Premier Yarn Basics Chunky. So for each bag, I mixed the main yarn. So for this bag is Bernard Shippy with acrylic yarn. It means I crochet the two threads together just because it makes the bag more resistant to weight and also the structure will be more rigid. So everything will be more solid if you crochet two threads at the same time. For bag number two, I used hook 12 mm again, then five skeins of Parfait XL from Premiere in color light pink. And for the acrylic yarn, I used from Premiere as well, Premier Basics in color light mauve and one, one and a half skein. Lastly, for bag number three, you can tell it's bicolor. So for the main part and pocket, I used two skeins of Bernard Shippy in bunny brown and two and a half skeins of Premier Basics Chunky from Premier in color light gray. Then for bottom, goose and handles. So the goose are the sides of the bag. I used one and a half skeins of Bernard Shippy in cotton tail and two skeins of Premier Basics Chunky in color cream. Outside of yarn, you will need a little bit of stuffing to put under the handles. It creates a quilted effect, but you really don't need a lot of stuffing. Then darning needles, I like to use the curved ones because I think it's easier to sew the different pieces together. But if you have regular darning needles, it's totally fine. Then you will need cotton threads to, um, to sew the bag together and try to pick a similar color to your bag. If you don't find cotton, you can use the acrylic yarn that you use to crochet the bag with to sew. Then you will need measuring tape. This is very important because we will do a lot of measurements in the pattern. Then stitch marker to make sure you don't miss stitches. Sewing clips to assemble everything together and optional a bag organizer i think it's just convenient and it makes the structure of the bag nicer i think but you really don't have to get a bag organizer the following video is a step-by-step -step tutorial to crochet the easy tote bag 
you can get the written pattern on my Etsy shop as a PDF file that you can print. The link is in the description and thank you so much if you decide to support. You can use any type of yarn but to have the same tote bag with the same dimensions, make sure to respect the measurements that I will give for each piece. It's very important. If sometimes the video goes too fast, you can slow it down in the YouTube reader in the settings. Let's get started and please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I just want to show you very quick how to join two skeins of yarn because you will need more than one in this tutorial. So I just want to show you how to make a solid uh, knot. Let's start with the main part that is also the biggest part of the pattern. So don't forget to use both of the indicated yarn. So you see I have the fluffy yarn and the acrylic yarn. I crochet them at the same time and you start by making 23 chain stitches. Then you will skip the first chain stitch from the hook and start crocheting in the second chain stitches from the hook and you will make one single crochet in each stitch. I would also suggest to insert a stitch marker right here you see in the first stitch of each row that you will make for the pattern just to avoid missing stitch. Now we will measure this part to make sure that your future bag will be the same size as mine and this part, this little piece that you just made, should be 13 inches or 33 centimeters. If it's longer than 13 inches, redo round zero which is the initial chain and round one but this time remove some chain stitches. For example, try with 22 chain stitches. And if it's shorter than 13 inches, add some chain stitches. So you can try with 24 chain stitches until you measure 13 inches. Once your piece is 13 inches, we will do round two, which is turning your work without making a turning chain and start crocheting in the first stitch from the hook. You see this one. And make one single crochet in each stitch all along the row. And now for the rest of the main part, we will just repeat round two. So what you just did, we will repeat it until the main part is 27 inches long or 70 centimeters long. And do not cut the yarn. So you see when it's quite big like that, I will measure it and see if it's 27 inches long. So 
So once you get the right measurement, you will make one single crochet in each stitch around the four edges. So these edges you see I show you on the video, you will create like a nice frame. And in each corner, instead of one single crochet, you will make two single crochet. It will make it easier for you to turn or to go the other direction. So here you will see I arrive to the corner and I will make two single crochet in the same stitch. See, one single crochet, almost, <laughs> one single crochet, two single crochet in the same stitch. And like that you go to the opposite direction after that. So once you are done crocheting the four edges, we will do a classic finish, which is uh, cutting the thread. So here I cut the thread. Make sure to keep it uh, long enough. I, <laughs> I never do and it's always a problem. So here I cut the yarn. My scissors are so bad. <laughs> and then you pass it through the loop to make a knot right here. And then we will do like the weave in, which, which is basically hiding the thread in your creation. So I show you on the video how I do. So the main part is done, the biggest part is done, congratulations, and now we should measure approximately 29 inches by 14 inches, or in centimeter is 73.6 centimeter by, par 35.5 centimeter. So now we will make the bottom and gousset. So the gousset are actually the sides of the bag. 
So goose side is the same thing. And I put it together because it's actually one piece. So you will see for each part of the bag, it's almost always the same thing. It, the only thing that's different is the number of chain stitches at the start. So for this part, you will make 12 chain stitches. So you skip the first chain stitch and you start crocheting in the second chain stitch from the hook and you will make one single crochet in each stitch. Each stitch. Don't forget to insert your little stitch marker on the first stitch of the row. So now we will measure this part to make sure that everything matches and when you measure it, it has to be approximately sorry, 6.5 inches or 16.5 centimeters. It doesn't have to be exactly exactly but approximately. And if it's longer than 6.5 inches, you have to redo round 0 and round 1, so the initial chain and round 1. But this time, remove some chain stitches. So for example, try to start with 11 chain stitches. And if it's shorter than 6.5 inches, you can add some chain stitches. So once you get the right measurement, turn your work without making a turning chain. So just turn your work and start crocheting in the first stitch from the hook. And you will make one single crochet in each stitch all along the row. So from now on, we will just repeat round two until this part, so the part you are making is 32.5 inches long or 82.5 cm. So once the measurements are the same as mine, you can cut the thread, do a classic finish and weave in the ends. The bottom and gousset part is done, it should measure approximately 32.5 inches by 6.5 inches.
or in centimeter in its 82.5 cm by 16.5 cm. So now we will start making the handle, just so you know you will have to do the same thing twice because we have two handles. So you start by making a chain of five chain stitches. Now you will skip the first chain stitch and start crocheting in the second chain stitch from the hook. And you will make one single crochet in each chain stitch along the chain. So once you are done with round one, we will measure the piece and make sure it measures 2.7 inches or 6.8 cm long. If it's longer than 2.7 inches, you have to redo round 0 and round 1, but this time you will remove some chain stitches. So for example, you will start with um, 4 chain stitch, and if it's shorter than 2.7 inches, you can add some chain stitches at, uh, in round 0, and you can try with uh, 6 chain stitches for example. So once you get the right length, you can turn your work without making a turning chain and start crocheting in the first stitch from the hook. And you will make one single crochet in each stitch along, along the row. And for the rest, it's very easy. You will just repeat round two, so the round you just made, until the, the part you are crocheting is 39 inches long or 99 centimeters long. Once you get the same length as me, you can cut the thread and do a classic finish. So see, I cut the thread, pass it through the loop to make a knot, but don't do like me on the video because you see I cut too short and I really struggle to, to do the classic finish. So make sure to, to keep a thread that is long enough and then you can weave in the ends, which means hiding the thread in, in the stitches. So once you are done with the first handle, you can repeat everything for the second handle. And now we are done with the handles. They should both measure approximately 39 inches by 2 seven inches or 99 centimeter by 6.8 centimeter. And this is the last piece for the bag we are making the pocket. So you will start with 13 chain stitches. Skip the first 
chain stitch and start crocheting in the second chain stitch from the hook and you will make one single crochet in each stitch along the chain. So once you are done with round one, we will measure the piece and it should be 7.5 inches long or 19 centimeters. It's approxim approximately, it doesn't have to be exactly that long. So if it's longer than 7.5 inches, you have to redo round zero and round one, but this time remove some chain stitches. So start with uh, round zero, 12 chain stitches. And if it's shorter than 7.5 inches, add some chain stitches. So start with 14 chain stitches, for example. Once you have the right length, you can turn your work without making a turning chain and start crocheting in the first stitch from the hook and make one single crochet in each stitch along the row. And from now on, it's very easy. We will just repeat round two. So the round you just made, you will repeat it until the part is 7.5 inches long or 19 centimeters long. So once it's 7.5 inches long, you can Cut the thread and do a classic finish or pass, it, pass the thread through the loop to make a knot and weave in the end. So your pocket is done. It should measure approximately 7.5 par 7.5 inches or 19 by 19 centimeters. Then we will start putting together the pieces to create the bag. I will always give you the instruction and then show you in the video. So you will start by positioning the bottom and goose part in the middle of the back side of the main part. To make sure it's well positioned, the part indicated by the arrows, you will see in the video there are arrows, of the same color should be the same length. So it's important to measure each size. And you can use sewing clips to keep everything together.
So once everything is positioned, you can sew the bottom to the main part with cotton or acrylic yarn of the same color as you buy. Make sure to sew back and forth like very, very well because that's going to be the bottom of your bag. So it's important that it's quite um, rigid, I would say. And also you can see on the video, I used curved needles. I just think it's more convenient to sew the pieces together, but you can use regular darning needles. Then turn your work and position the handles as shown in the picture. Make sure not to twist the handles and that the part that will go under your shoulder is wide enough. And then you will sew following the black arrows. So you see the four black arrows on the picture, you will sew following them.
Now place the pocket in the middle of both handles and the sides of the pocket should be a little bit under the handles. And that will be the front side of your bag. Now we will place a little bit of stuffing under the handles, make sure not to put too much, we just want a, a small quilted effect, so you can tell I created little sticks like that and I put them under each handle. So now you can sew following the arrows, it will block the stuffing and sew the pocket at the same time. Also make sure the bottom of the bag is as flat as possible, the bottom is where the three little arrows are, you see, so make sure it's very flat.
So now you can repeat the same steps, so the stuffing, the sewing on the other side, the, the side that doesn't have the pocket. So now we will create little rolls for the handles. So with a cotton or acrylic yarn that you are using right now to sew, make a knot 4.5 inches or 11 centimeters away from the start of the handle and sew to create a little roll. So you will see in the video how I do. Stop sewing 4.5 inches or 11 centimeters away from the other side. Then cut the thread and make a knot and repeat for the second handle.
And now the last part, you are almost done with your bag, is to fold the sides and sew them to the gousset. Do the same thing for both sides. Now you should be done with your tote bag. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and I see you very soon for a new crochet tutorial. Bye bye.